Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for twin flame, soulmate, or love interest. So this reading is actually going to be their perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what the current energy is between you and this person. Then we're going to see what their feelings are about you. And then we're going to see where they're at with union or like coming together with like in a relationship with you or pursuing you. So this is for if you know you have a twin flame or you know someone's your soulmate or you have a really strong crush. Um, this is a reading for if you know who this person is. If you don't know who this person is, or like you're not aware of them then the reading might not make sense. So just keep that in mind. And also keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. I do have personal readings available. You can head over to promiseharmony.com slash services to order. And if it's your first reading, you've never had a reading from me before, you can email me and ask for a discount code that you can use for your first reading. And my information and my email will be in the description in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you're going to choose a crystal. Number one, the snow quartz. Number two, the adventuring. Number three, quartz. And number four, the yellow citrine. So choose a number or choose a crystal and we're going to get started. If you choose number one, the snow quartz, then we're going to start right away. If you choose any of the other ones, then head to the comments below. One of my lovely subscribers always puts the timestamps for me. I really appreciate it, you guys. You all know I have dyslexia and I always mix up the numbers when I try to do the timestamps. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for doing this for me. So um, let's get started. Number one. First of all, what is the current energy between you and your twin flame, your soulmate, your love interest? What is the current energy between you guys? Wow, I mean, this is a really great spread. Um, first of all, we're seeing communication. So this might be a person you've been talking to, or you've been flirting with. Um, if you've been out of contact with this person, then I do feel like there's a desire on both sides to communicate. This is also the energy of protection. I love this card because it's Stonehenge here and it's like, how did Stonehenge get there? It's still a mystery to this day. Really the only ex explanation for it is just something we don't know, unseen forces. And so this is talking about the unseen forces that are working behind the scenes to help this situation work out for the higher, highest good of both of you guys. So this is also kind of a surrender card to trust that the universe has a plan here. You know, you can really feel it for someone. You can know in your heart someone's your twin flame or your soulmate or you have this connection. But ultimately, you have to surrender to the greater plan and also realize that this person's free will has a lot to do with this situation. You don't want to force a connection with someone who might not want to be with you. <laughs> you want to know that this person chooses you and that this person wants to pursue you. So you don't want to chase this person. And so I do feel like there's this message of like surrender coming out on your side, especially just knowing that if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it'll work out if it's meant to. And, um, and I do feel like you're trusting that there's a reason this person is in your life. And there have been some difficult times. There has been some separation with you guys. And um, this card is talking about just like a winter or rough times you guys went through that kept each other apart or just like missed timing or missed connections. But this is reverse. I really feel some beautiful energy coming into this connection because we see true love. Both of you guys really do love each other. You feel the romance here. You feel this connection. And this says give your relationship a chance. Both of you guys want to give this relationship a chance. So this could very well be someone that you're dating or somebody that you're with or like still trying to figure things out with or somebody that is coming back in your life. Um, and there's a strong energy here of just this being a really beautiful connection. I mean, I'm like shocked at these cards. This is this is for real is what I can say is this really is somebody from your soul family this is somebody who also feels the same way about you. And um, let's just clarify that by seeing what their feelings are about you. Let's see if we can tap into that energy. So how do they feel about you? 
Well, first of all, there's this reassurance card coming out that that is saying, you know, those first cards I pulled about them wanting to give the relationship a chance, you guys feeling this mutual affection for each other is for real. So there's reassurance coming out like, yes, they do have feelings for you. But then there's this struggle card. For some reason, there's a big struggle with this person admitting their feelings for you or wanting to take steps to make this work out between you guys. They're going to have to face a lot of their fears in order to make this happen. So perhaps there's a lot of distance between you guys, maybe physically or emotionally. Um, maybe they need to just get certain aspects of their life together so that they can actually be stable enough to, you know, be in a committed relationship or to pursue somebody romantically. That's why there's a finances and career card in this love deck, because oftentimes when you don't feel stable in your career or your finances, it's difficult to feel confident enough to go out there and pursue somebody in love or to enter into a committed relationship. And I would be careful about the people who have this area as like a mess in their lives and then they escape into relationships. You don't want someone that's going to escape into a relationship with you and use that to just kind of bide their time. You know, you want somebody who is moving towards their dreams and their goals actively and, and um, making areas of their life better and taking control in their life. And so I actually see that is what your twin flame is very focused on right now is, you know, working on the finances and career. And so they're really going to have to step up and get past their personal struggles in order to be able to really admit their feelings to you and be able to, um, <clears throat> you know, be able to declare this energy. And then this is talking about a spiritual awakening. And so I call it spiritual awakening. Some people call it like a quarter life crisis or a midlife crisis or a breakdown. It's just where you get to this point in your life where you realize the old ways, the old habits, the old situations just aren't serving you anymore. And it's like this shedding process where you're like, all right, I got to let go of all this stuff. I need to start over. I need to start a new path. I need to commit. Like I'm, I'm ready to like really take charge in my life. Um, and a part of this with the spiritual awakening, it comes an awareness of like your talents and your gifts and of like what you like and what you don't like. It's, it's really you learning how to really know yourself and how to get in alignment with what you really do want. Sometimes in our earlier journey in life, we pick things to do or how to be sometimes to please other people, like the expectations of our family or of our friends or of our coworkers or our society and um, what everyone else is doing. And some people, you know, are on a different path. And there's a lot of people who are very creative or gifted or talented. And, and maybe you realize, you know, I don't fit the mold. I don't fit the mold here and I need to just break out of this. I kind of got off on the wrong foot. I need to kind of restructure my life and figure out what I really do want and go towards that. You start to kind of realize how short life is. And so um, it can like become a depression um, because you get so upset because you're like, I'm not happy, but that energy helps you to create change in your life. And so I see that is honestly what this person's going through, your twin flame or your soulmate, your love interest. They're going through that right now. Um, and so they are just like trying to get their life sorted. So I feel like, yes, there's reassurance coming out. They do have feelings for you, but it's not their top priority because they're getting to a place in their life where they need to be their top, top priority. And it's not like everything has to be perfect for you guys to come together, but they, before they declare their feelings or take this further, they want to settle some things first. And I think that's a sign of maturity. Um, and I don't see this person's like really rushing anything. And so, um, you know, they're going through a lot, but they're, they're getting stronger. They're going to be able to face their fears and move forward here. So next, what I see is um, we're going to see where they're at with union or as far as like declaring their emotions or like trying to make this work out with you, coming together with you. Let's see where they're at with this. So this is the Earth card talking about that they're very grounded and that makes a lot of sense from the cards that we just saw talking about their feelings about you and the situation. They're like really focused on like their material life, like their stability, their security. It's a lot of root chakra stuff. Um, and it's like they do think in their mind and they fantasize and kind of are thinking of creative ways to maybe reach out to you or to make this happen. Um, there's a, men a mention here of a love triangle and it's reversed. So... There could be someone else in this person's life. You know, maybe they have 
a significant other um, or an ex or something. And so this is something they have to kind of get over and move past in order to move forward with you. Um, and maybe this has already happened. Maybe they, they've been single for a while and you're just wondering why is like, why is this not working out? But it could be that this, the energetic cord between them is still kind of intense. They need to cut that cord. They need time to heal and move forward. Um, so they're not really moving in a, um, they're not really transitioning to you just yet. Okay. Um, but you know, it does say new love, like they're going to recognize this love. They, they do. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. They are thinking about you. They definitely, um, feel the vibes with you. And then it does say at some point that they are going to, going to come and, and make this commitment or, um, this is the engagement card could be talking about proposing for some people. Um, but this card usually means like proposing a relationship or proposing like, I want to get to know you better or something like that. And so I do see it coming. It's just the main message from this really seems to be about delays, 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 delays. Um, and that is the energy with our Venus retrograde right now at the time that I'm doing this reading, but this is a timeless reading. So, um, overall what I can say is, yeah, I do see this person has feelings for you. They got a lot of stuff to figure out. Um, there, there might be another person that is affecting this relationship. And so, um, as always surrender, you know, and surrendering doesn't mean, um, giving up. It just means giving in to the infinite possibilities. Remember to keep yourself your number one priority in your life as you work towards your plans, your dreams, your goals, and you give yourself that self-love, you're meeting your needs, um, you're finding that peace in your life um, and you're just being in that state of acceptance of the moment that will help kind of take down any walls or any barriers or any resistance that's that might be coming out on your end that's keeping this from coming together. But really, I do see a lot of lot needs to happen on their side before this union can come together. So I hope that this resonates with you. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose the adventuring, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to see what the general energy is between you guys right now. Wow. <laughs> so first of all, we're seeing chemistry. And this is a message that there's a strong magnetic connection between you guys. So you might not even be thinking about this person at all, just going about your day and bam, they come into your mind out of nowhere. And you're like, I, I swear I didn't go there. They, they're just popping in my mind. That is definitely a message that they're thinking about you. I feel like every time you let go and you give up on this situation, this person messages you or they're liking one of your photos or they're sliding into your DMs or they're asking you to hang out or something. And you're like, what? I literally just let this go. And so um, I feel like this situation might have been going on for a while. Um, this is a message about this person definitely being a soulmate, you know, definitely being a strong connection of yours. And um, I do feel like it's a message that, that this is a real connection, like you're not just imagining it. This is something real here. You guys are from the same soul family. There is some kind of soul contract here. And this card even reads, um, you got this card because you wonder if this person is your soulmate and the answer is yes. As we all do, you have many soulmates, beings with whom you share a mystical soul connection and life path. Soulmates incarnate with the plan of coming together for mutual spiritual and personal growth. As you suspected, the person you're inquiring about is one of yours. That sense of familiarity and the comfort that you felt when you first met this person also indicates your soulmate bond. So, you know, maybe the romantic sparks didn't fly at, per at first with this person, but I do feel there's going to be an opportunity to explore this further. Um, and then we're, but here, here's what we're seeing is the fulfillment card reversed. And so both of you guys are feeling unfulfilled, um, in this relationship or maybe in your lives right now, because this is the general energy between you guys. And then we're getting this message about the dark night of the soul. I think a lot of people are going through this right now. It tends to kind of be a seasonal thing, but dark night of the soul is kind of like a depression. Remember depressed simply just means deep rest. Maybe one or both of you is spending more time just kind of secluded and more like solitary and more just kind of on that like hermit path of just kind of being to themselves, staying in a lot and just kind of working and maybe going to school or just whatever um, and not really pursuing anything as far as new relationships or new friendships. It's kind of like you guys have made your choices and your lives are kind of different. Um, 
But there is this message about trust because, you know, there is a chemistry here. This is your soulmate. As unfulfilled as you might feel right now or as they might feel right now in this situation, um, this, this energy does seem like it's going to expand. So let's go ahead and see how this person feels about you. Like, what are their feelings towards you in the situation? Well, they are definitely inspired by you. And um, if you have admitted your feelings to this person or you're talking to them regularly and like you've been flirting with them, then they're definitely inspired to take action because they they see you as definitely an option. They, they do feel the soulmate connection with you. Um, and this is saying that they, they want to take a risk. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to start over. They want to try something new. They want to go on this path with you. But what's blocking them is just some healing, you know? Have you ever been at a point in your life where you just the, the the main goal for you wasn't like going and trying new things and, and taking these leaps of faith it was more just kind of healing and going through something maybe there was like a death or something that fell out of your life or like a big life change like that's the energy i feel around this person is that they're getting prepared for changes um by going through this healing something could have happened in their life that's that's kind of causing them to take a step back and and kind of want to just be to themselves and take the time they need. Um, and so that's, I think that's kind of what's, what's going on here. I do see though, that they're very attracted to you. You know, they have a strong attraction. They find you attractive physically, mentally, emotionally, like they, they see you and they're just like, wow, you know, they, they absolutely just have that attraction for you and they want to talk to you. So for some of you guys, you might be in contact with this person. They might be texting you or maybe you talk whenever you see each other in person and it's like they love talking to you and they love having conversations with you. If you guys haven't been talking, it could be that they, they're they thinking about talking to you. They, they, they feel like they want to discuss their feelings with you honestly. So um, next we're going to go ahead and see what their feelings are about union or like, you know, pursuing you in a relationship or dating you. Um, so yeah, I mean, they have really strong romantic feelings for you. I mean, they're starting to realize that their feelings are real and they want to explore this. This is the passion card. So it's like, they want to hook up with you. Um, maybe you guys have already hooked up or you guys have kind of dated a little bit. Maybe it's like, they want to have a DTR with you and they want to define this relationship. Um, they, they want to be with you. And um, this is the movement card. So it's saying like they are going to make their move at some point. Um, they There's a lot of growth that's happened in their life. And I think it's because of the healing they've been going through. And, and they have a good circle of friends around them. That's like, um, it's kind of a message that their friends might be encouraging them to like, hey, you should go for it, you know, or they're asking their friends opinions, like, what should I do here? Um, they have the support of their friends to go for you um, or they want to bring you into their friend circle. They think like their friends and their family would get along with you well kind of thing. Um, and this is saying they want to make their move. This also might be talking about a physical move. Maybe this person's like, I want you to move in with me or I want I want to be closer to you um, kind of kind of vibe. And then this is also saying let your friends help you. And so I think this person's friends are very important to them. And they, maybe you've met their friends and their friends are like, yeah, you guys would be good together or whatever. And so this is definitely a message that they want to um, bring you into their circle of friends. They're, they're down to pursue you, like you'd be a good fit kind of thing. Um, this is also saying that maybe you guys were friends first. And so since you have such a strong friendship with this person, they have developed feelings and the, you know, they, they are thinking about taking a step to take this relationship further. So I hope that this resonates with you. I feel like they're in it. They're, they're like, this might be happening soon. Um, I feel like there's, like, like I said, there's a little bit of healing going on. We saw that dark night of the soul card, but I seeing the energy so strong when we're asking about union or how they're feeling about pursuing you. It, it just seems like they're going to be doing it. I would just kind of be chill and see what happens here, not force the issue, just be open to receive because I really think this person wants to go for it. So I hope that this message resonates with you and I will see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who chose the quartz crystal, let's see what your message is. First of all, we're going to look at the 
general energy between you and this person. All right, so we are seeing pay attention to the red flags, okay? Next to the healing family issues card. So I am definitely getting a sense that this person is your soulmate. For some of you guys, not everybody, okay? Trust yourself first. But for some of you guys, the message I'm getting here is you might be really hung up on this person. You might think that they're your twin flame, but for some of you guys, it's not. I'm not really here to tell someone this is your twin flame, this is not. I just, I always say trust what's in front of you. And, you know, if someone's like, this is my twin, can you do a reading for me and them? I will. Um, if somebody asks, like, I want to know for sure, is this my twin? And I see it's not, I will tell you. Um, but most of the time, I'm going to focus on what the energy is between you and kind of get you some answers so you can make your own decision. You can decide and define what the relationship is to you. So trust yourself. But I feel like for some of you guys, I am getting the message to tell you that this might not be who you think it is. It's definitely a soulmate, though. It's definitely someone from your soul family. For some of you guys, if you're like, yeah, this is my twin, this is a soulmate, um, and you're sure of that, um, there could just be a red flag between you guys right now because there's like a darkness surrounding one or both of you. And like the darkness isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes we have times in our life where we are feeling that darkness and we're feeling kind of um, just pushed down by life and we're feeling like it's hard to move forward and we're going through difficult times. Um, and, and a lot of the cards we've been seeing, a lot of people are dealing with this right now. And so it could just be an energy that's affecting the collective. But what I do see is that this has been preventing one or both of you guys from feeling confident in, in love and feeling like you want to, you know, have fun and like want to get with somebody or want to make a commitment. So one or both of you guys is having like a commitment phobia or feeling unsure um, or indecided in this. Um, and there could be a past with you guys. Like maybe you guys had a past together and like stuff went down, but like you changed and like you... You still have these feelings for each other kind of thing. And so um, I do feel like there's been a lot of synchronicity where maybe you're walking down the street and you see like a big sign with this person's name on it. And you're like, oh my God, they're everywhere. They're like haunting me. <laughs> maybe um, you're getting like twin flame numbers like 1111 or 777 or something. Um, maybe you're thinking about them and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they will call you or text you out of the blue and you're like, what? So there has been some synchronicity between you guys and there could even have been a past relationship. I feel like for some of you guys that pick this card, you have a past with this person. Um, I do see this message about healing family issues coming up. I'm like, ah, this card is so annoying to talk about sometimes, but basically the healing family issues card means that one or both of you guys had a parent or both parents that were absent or neglectful or just not emotionally supportive or just kind of hard on you or even abusive or toxic or like an addict or something. And so this kind of affected you growing up and can make it hard to make a commitment to somebody or can make you feel confused in love. Or like when you see true love and it's unconditional, you don't recognize it because all you know is like toxic love. And so it can cause you to like have a, a picker that's broken. So maybe this person has been dating toxic people or can't see how much you love them or doesn't like recognize the connection or something kind of like that. And so um, there's definitely a lot going on here. But the, 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 uh, the best card I see here is the synchronicity card saying that there has been a lot of signs about the significance of this relationship. And, um, you know, I do see um, some feelings here. So let's go ahead and see what their feelings are for you. Wow. So here's the adversity card. I think that's the thick energy that I was picking up on is that this person is going through a lot of shit. <laughs> and why am I seeing this for like all of the twin flames right now? It's so funny. It's gotta be an energy in the collective. Um, there's been adversity. There's been like a breakup. This could have been the breakup with you that caused a lot of pain and heartbreak or with somebody else. Um, and I feel like they know they can tell that like you're still into them. Like they feel the energy coming from you. They feel the love. They feel the support. Like they're aware of your feelings for them. And um, they they do think maybe you're the one. They do think, you know what? Maybe this is my person. Like all the signs kind of point back to you because we did get that synchronicity card talking about the signs. 
Um, and they, they do think about a relationship with you or about being back with you. They, they think it would be very natural. It makes sense to them. And there's a part of them that's starting to feel like, yeah, I want to call this in. I, I want, I'm, I'm ready for real love. Um, but I do see some fear. I do see some fear coming out on their side and it could be because of those healing family issues cards we drew. So let's just go ahead and look now about how they feel about union. How do they feel about coming together with you in a relationship or per pursuing you or being pursued by you? Um, let's see how they feel. So here's the entanglements card. And so this could be that they still have a bad taste in their mouth because of the pain that happened between you guys with the breakup. Or um, it could, this entanglements is always also talking about maybe they have a significant other. Maybe they have, they're in a long-term relationship or they're already in a commitment. And so, or maybe you are, <laughs> maybe you're in a commitment. And so there's other people kind of in the way of this situation, or maybe your family or whoever, or friends are still kind of upset about you guys breaking up and how dramatic it was or something. And so like, there's this worry about everybody around you being cool with it. I always say, trust yourself, make your choices no matter what people think, but there could be some of that. I just feel like there's other people involved here. There are definitely some entanglements um, or maybe some people you guys both need to let go of from your past. Um, but there's this happiness card coming out saying they feel happy when they think about being with you and being in a relationship like this. And they do believe in their, their heart that there's going to be some kind of justice here. And, um, you know, currently they're just retreating. It's like they're not pursuing you. They might not even be in communication with you. Um, they're really trying to respect themselves and have that self-respect. So if they are in a relationship, it could be that they, they want to be respectful to that. They want to respect the choices they've made. Um, not to say they, they don't feel happy thinking about this and they don't think of this as an option and think maybe there will be justice here somehow, but um, they are retreating right now. They are just focusing on their self-love and um, getting stronger and um, more stable in their life and um, you know but the card that I keep going back to is this happiness card they they feel happy when they think about coming together with you so I'm sending you so much love and light with this reading I will see you later peace out so the last card <laughs> last group um, I believe it is the yellow citrine I might have mixed the crystals up. I'm sorry if I did. So um, number four, we're going to get started. So this is the energy of what's going like on between you guys right now, or just like the general energy between you guys. So first of all, I'm seeing that there's this serenity card coming out, which is like both of you guys have kind of come to peace about what this situation is between you guys. And then there's this trust card here. So I feel like this is really good vibes because you guys are both completely in this state of surrender. Maybe you've been going back and forth on this for a while, you know? Um, and so there's this trust, um, there's this serenity of just complete like peace and contentment for the moment where things are at. Um, and I also see like, gr this is talking about being grounded. And so you guys are both really grounded in this situation. I feel like you in particular, are just like, you know, whatever's gonna happen here is gonna happen. Um, this is also talking about secrets and mysteries though. So I feel like there's a lot about them and what's going on with them that you don't know. And also there's a lot about you that's going on with them you don't know. Or maybe this is saying that you, this person actually doesn't really know how you feel about them. Like you haven't told them or they don't know. So there's a lot that's unknown here in this situation. Um, I also, this is like lack of focus. It might be this person isn't focused on you. They could be in a codependent relationship with another person, or there could be like an addiction or something that's keeping them from being able to like be present and, and like move towards true love. And so um, this could be talking about an, an addiction and maybe it's something you're not aware of. A lot of people have addictions that they hide, you know? Um, it could be anything. It could be something small, just like being addicted to eating a bunch of fast food. You know, some people can be addicted to exercise. And so they're just like at the gym all the time and they're obsessed with that. They don't have time for anything else. Uh, I used to work at a gym. I used to know people like that. <laughs> um, it could be like, you know, hard drugs, you know, or pills or alcohol or whatever. It could be something like that. And so that's what their focus is on. When you have an addiction, it just takes up your whole life. And and um, it's easy to hide it from people in a lot of cases. And 
it can keep people distracted from being able to get what they want in life and move towards true love. Um, this could also be a toxic connection with another person, like an ex of theirs that keeps coming in and out of their life and playing with their heart. It could even be codependency with their family. Like maybe their family is really demanding and stuff. And so that's what their whole focus is. Um, and, or it could be someone that they're actually with. They could have, you know, a partner or a significant other or something. So um, this seems to be the current energy between you guys. What I think is very positive about this is the trust and the serenity and the groundedness that you guys both have about the situation. Um, let's see how they feel about you. So this is the grace card. Once again, a message that you guys, like, and especially them, are trying to just flow through the situation with grace, just trying to be open here. Um, but then there's this frustration card because this person's been through a lot. And I feel like they finally got to a place in their life where they're feeling pretty content. You like the, the grounded energy, the stable stability that they found, despite the addiction or the connection with this other person, whatever this is, that's the blockage here. They they still are pretty grounded. And so they're frustrated because um, they have gotten to know you and they probably know how you feel or they've developed feelings for you. And um, you guys have had this intimate connection or you've talked or, you know, maybe there's a past here with you guys. And so they're frustrated because they're just like, I'm here in this place and I feel like I'm good here, but, and I don't want to make changes, but, you know, part of them is like feeling called towards you. And so this is a card saying that, you know, they right now are just feeling like they want to wait. Um, they do feel like you're worth waiting for. They do feel, but right now their first, their, their feelings are very frustrated about the situation though. They're frustrated. They really have enjoyed getting to know you. There are some vibes here for sure. Um, but, and they feel like they just want to wait. And so those are their feelings. Um, let's go ahead and see how they feel about union coming together with you, pursuing you, um, dating you, you know, being with you. So you make this person feel safe. You know, their, their heart is very open to you. Um, they feel a very gentle energy coming from you and it's very intriguing to them. You know, they do want to make the effort. They do want to express their love and maybe they have, maybe they've told you how they feel and they're like, you know, I, I have feelings for you or something. There is a, a feeling of destiny towards this situation with you guys being like pulled towards each other. And they are starting to consider taking a new path because this is the new path card. This is the new moon. Um, it's even a spiritual path, like like a, like a partnership, like a connection where you guys can help make each other's lives better. Um, and so this is definitely them starting to consider this. You know, we did get that worth waiting for card. You know, we do see the frustration coming from them about the changes they have to make. These would be big changes if they were going to walk in the direction towards you. I feel like... Maybe this for them, this would be letting go of certain toxic connections or letting go of addictions even. Um, and that's really hard. That might be why they're frustrated. But this could be talking about um, them really starting to think like this is worth it, you know, and, and this is like my destiny is calling me here. and I want to make this effort and I feel safe with this person and I want to express my love and, and I'm, I'm ready to start taking those steps now. And so that's awesome. I really hope that this resonates with you. Thank you guys so much for your support. I know you guys have been begging me for another Twin Flame Soulmate rating. And here you guys go. I hope that you really appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you so much to all of my sponsors, to everybody who has been purchasing readings from me. That is why I'm able to do these readings for you guys every day. Because so many of you guys are sponsoring me and helping me out. Um and supporting me so I have this time and energy to be able to continue to make more readings for you guys for free. So um, yeah, keep coming back to my channel for free readings. Also, if you have a suggestion for my pick a card readings, you can just drop it in the comments on any of my videos. I read, I try to read like all the comments. Um, and yeah, I love your suggestions and I have them written down in a notebook. And this was actually a suggestion from a couple people. And so even if you don't want to purchase a personal reading or you can't, that's no big deal at all. Like, I want to be able to do free readings for anybody who wants them. And um, you can always leave suggestions for free in my comments. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you later. Peace out.